I think the tricky bit really is saying that we're still in that process of transition. Like I said earlier, you know, we're, we are in a era of devolution, but we're nowhere near the end and things are still going on, things are still changing, we're still learning. Um, do they have enough time? It's hard to say because I don't think it's quite finished yet and I think they're still responding. We're still kind of mapping new governmental agencies against these regional authorities that are growing, these new metro mayors across the country. Uh, and obviously the NHS will be affected by that. Um, so I think it's a difficult one to say. I think they've had some time and they've made the best of that time. But looking forward, they need to make kind of keep keep making changes. Uh, but what they need to be is kind of pragmatic about it. So some of these changes will have to be made in place. The, the systems will already be there. They need to work with them uh, and not just wait for things to go wrong. Um, but I think, yeah, as I said, Birmingham is a fantastic city for devolution. You know, the regional agenda is really strong here. Uh, we're held up as a flagship area by the, by the government uh, and by uh, industry partners as an area that really has grabbed hold of that agenda. Um, and so I'm confident that the people who need to deliver these changes are, are, the, are the right people here in Birmingham. Devolution is, is a growing trend. I think a lot more is being given out to the cities and the regions to kind of manage their own affairs. Um, I think personally, for me, any NHS that's as close to the patient as possible is a very good NHS. Um, Birmingham, we're, we're very lucky. We have an excellent regional uh, team, whether that's the local authority, whether that's the combined authority, the new Metro Mayor, the, the LEPs across the, across the region. Uh, they all have um, a fantastic track record already in the devolution agenda um, in terms of giving them the power to actually make these very important decisions at a point that is close to the patient it can only be a good thing in my opinion.